Now let's look at the organs which bear the antheridium and the uh, archegonium, okay? That is the sex organs. So the gametophytic prothallus of lycopodium is monoecious, okay? So it means that it contains both the antheridia and the archegonia on the same prothallus. Remember, this is the top shape. This is those rhizoids. Here are the archegonia and these are the antheridia. So on the same prothallus, you are finding both the male and the female, okay? They are, the antheridia and the archegonia are intermingled near the base of the upright lobes in those species where the gametophytes are of the green animal type. In the subterranean type, the organs are segregated into different groups, okay? This is the one that I'm drawing is the subterranean type, so the groups are different here. This is the antheridia group, this is the archegonia group, okay? So let's look at the antheridium, okay? The antheridium develops from a single superficial cell, okay? Uh, so remember when I told you what is a superficial cell? Uh, for the archae, for the AU, sporangium, it was from the top of the leaf. Then this one will be from the top of the protalus. No, any of these one cell can become the uh, archegonial initial, okay? Arte anteridial initial. Okay, so the antheridium will develop from a single superficial cell known as the antheridial initial from the prothallus, okay? Not leaf, not stem, not root. We are talking about the prothallus now, okay? So, so this antheridial initial Okay, let's look at the image. Okay, so here I draw. Mm -hmm. okay. So here, there, no, any of this one cell at the surface, the superficial cell will become the antheridial initial. Okay, so this cell, for example, became the antheridial initial. Then it divided, you know, and it formed one layer that is known as your jacket initials, okay? Then again, it divided this way, that way it divided, and you have your, this is still your jacket initial, and here, and down is your primary androgonial cell, okay? So, which means that this one will become your androgonial initial. A I. Androgonial initial. Andro means from the word androcytes. Okay. Then, this, um, these jacket initials, they'll keep on dividing to form the jacket. And then the primary androgonial cells will keep on dividing to form the Androcytes, okay. The androcytes are just like your spore mother cell. Remember when we did the sporangium? Hmm? Then these androcytes will divide and form the antheridia or the sperm cell. Okay, antheridias. Yes, there you can see, no? They will divide to form the antheridia, antherozoids or the sperm cells, okay. So I think it's easy enough. If we look at the complete picture, we started from one superficial cell, which became your antheridial initial. Then it divides into half, and this is your jacket initial, and this one is your androc androcyte initial. Okay. Then these jacket initials will keep dividing and form the jacket, and these primary androgonial cells will keep dividing to form the Androcytes, okay, so any of these one androcyte will divide to form these sperm cells or the antheridium. I mean antherozoids. Okay, so let's look at the text.
The antheridium develops from a single superficial cell known as the antheridal initial. Then, that initial will divide to form an upper jacket initial and a lower primary androconal cell. Then, the jacket in uh, initial divides anticlinally. Remember, periclinal was periclinal was this way. So, periclinal was this way. Anticlinal is this way. Okay. So now it divides to uh, anticlinally to form one layered jacket. Then, the lower androgonal cell will form a mass of androcytes through many irregular divisions. Then each androcyte will mature into a biflagellate sperm resembling the sperms of certain bryophytes or algae. Now the shape of the sperm that is that they are blunt end. Okay. They are fusiform cell. Uh, fusiform is this shape. No? And uh, they are 8 to 10 micron meter long and 4 to 5 micron meter wide. There are two flagella, each is about 38 micron long, so quite long as compared to the body, and it is wholly embedded in the gametophytic tissue. Okay, the sperms are released by breaking down of the operculum at the top. Let's see, this is your prothallus, no? Here, it will break, this covering will break, and it will release those uh, anthrozoids. Okay. So it's not as tough as it looks. It looks so tough, but if you know the diagram, Snowballs, it's not tough at all. Just from the diagram itself, you can, as long as your concept is clear, you can always explain in your own words. Okay, now let's look at how the archegonium develops. 